Welcome to Part 5 of Evaluation Basics for Non-Evaluators. While we've answered most of Jen's big questions about evaluation, she's still not sure how to address it in her proposal. She knows to check NSF's Proposal and Award Policies and Procedures Guide, but it doesn't provide any guidance on how to address the project's external evaluation. As you work on your proposals, I encourage you to think of them as a jigsaw puzzle. Each piece of your proposal needs to fit with the other pieces to convey an overall coherent picture of what you will do with the grant funds, why it's important, and what will happen. Here are the required elements of an NSF proposal. The check marks identify the parts where there should be information related to evaluation. We won't get into the details of all of these sections in this video series. We're just going to focus on the project description. This is the main part of your NSF proposal and it can be up to 15 pages long. The contents that are listed here are based on guidance from the ATE program solicitation and the NSF proposal guide. The sections of the project description where you will definitely need information about your evaluation are the results from prior support section, if you've been funded before, and of course the evaluation plan. Of the 15-page project description, one to three pages should be dedicated to evaluation. I would aim for about a page and a half unless you have good reasons for it to be shorter or longer than that. In this small space, you should identify your evaluator, what the evaluation questions will be, what data will be collected and how it will be used to answer the evaluation questions, what types of evaluation reports or other deliverables will be prepared and when. The evaluation planning checklist for ATE proposals includes detailed guidance about how to integrate evaluation throughout your NSF ATE proposal. The ATE proposal evaluation plan template includes guidance on how to organize the evaluation section of your proposal. Jen feels pretty confident about addressing evaluation in her ATE proposal, but now she wants to know what will actually happen when her project gets funded. We'll address that in the next and final video.